You know, supreme means surpass. Are you surpassing spiritual excellence today? Are you indignant that your excellence hasn't surpassed? Hello, I am Cassidy Olmos and I lead an amazing church in Paris, France with my handsome, incredible, funny, loving husband, Richard Anthony Olmos the first. And I have the honor to preach Supreme Excellence, Joanna, wife of Chusa. This woman was incredible. She's high society. She's living the dream. She has the man. You know that rich man everyone wants to marry? She's married to Chusa, the chief financial officer, a property manager, not in just any palace. Herod Atipus Palace. She was educated, she was beautiful, she had the best cosmetics, the best spa, the best food, the best clothes. You know what I mean? You're like, wow. She was an excellent wife, excellent friend, excellent daughter. On the outside, she looked like she had the perfect life, right, that everyone dreams about. But in the inside, she was empty. In her life, she had worldly excellence, but she was lacking spiritual excellence. In these walls of the palace, she was hearing about Jesus Christ. How? John the Baptist. John the Baptist is showing up telling Herod, hey, your life is pretty sinful. And she's like, who is this Jesus? And as Sarah shared, Luke 8 too, she was one of the women who was cured of evil spirits and diseases. She's so empty inside, she goes, I need to find this Jesus. She leaves, and she leaves this excellent life to seek excellent spirituality. She goes to the poorest, darkest area, and she stands out. Everyone's like, who is this woman in these beautiful clothes? But she doesn't care about who she is, her status. It's not about her. She sees Jesus, looks straight in his eyes. She walks to him faithfully, falls at his feet, and says, I need to be healed. You know, she needed a relationship, an excellent relationship with God to turn her nightmare into a dream come true. She had everything, but she wanted a true identity in Jesus Christ. And Joanna means in Aramaic, God is gracious, and God was gracious to her. He saved her. He loved her, and there was no excuse. She's like, I'm take all my money. Take everything. I want you. I need you because we know the Bible says the most excellent way is love. And she's like, I have found true love. She needed Jesus Christ. You know, first is Corinthians 13, 12 to 13 says, For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part. Then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. She didn't know who Jesus was, but she walked faithfully to him. She had hope this guy was going to save her. And she was filled with so much love. She's like, I'm going to pay for the ministry. I'm going to give everything. And you know, she, she didn't care about the glamorous life. She loved Jesus when it wasn't glamorous. She was going to Manila. She was going to Africa. She was going to Asia. She was going to go everywhere because she didn't care about glamour, right? Worldly excellence, sisters, will lead you to insecurity, people-pleasing, comparison, hidden sin, and burnt out. And you know what? Nobody will like you either. Nobody will like you. Are you limiting the power of God in your life? You know, supreme means surpass. Are you surpassing spiritual excellence today? You know, I was excellent in being the worst disciple when I was baptized. <laughs> I was the most excellent in pride. I was the most excellent in running away from my leaders. I was the most excellent.
excellent in failing the ministry. But you know what? Those who fail excellently <laughs> will keep on dreaming and keep on going. Amen? Because you love the ministry. You want to see God's glory. You know, I have been excellent in learning from <laughs> I've been excellent in failing in French. But you know, if I want to meet that five talented person and baptize them, I have to learn French. You know what? But I'm excellent at giving my heart. And, amen. I went from a horrible, excellent disciple to a faithful, excellent disciple. And I have to speak French. My dog speaks French. He's a French bulldog. I have to free, speak French everywhere. <laughs> You know, excellence shouldn't be for you. It should be all for the glory of God. Are you indignant that your excellence hasn't surpassed? Spirit, like your spiritual excellence needs to go higher. You know what I mean? And everyone's been saying that one thing, that one thing, right, to change in your life. I'm here to give you the same challenge. We're all one in spirit, amen? amen. What is the one thing you least want to do and change? excellently surpass that. You are the future women's ministry leaders, shepherdesses, deacons, Bible talk leaders, church leaders. You are the dreamers of this, this generation and the future generation. You know, this amazing woman, Joanna, is only mentioned in two scriptures and not much about her. The first one, she's cured of evil spirits and financed the ministry. The second was, she was with Mary Magdalene when Jesus revealed himself. That speaks volumes. Her life speaks volumes. She was used by Jesus and was in his inner circle. Sisters, it is time to have a surpassing excellence in your worship, have a surpassing excellence in your Bible knowledge, and have a surpassing excellence in your vulnerability. And most importantly, have a surpassing love for Jesus' ministry and to God be all the glory. Woo!